Thanks to this one credit card, I was able to book a luxury 5-star resort at Kyoto, Japan for free. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Vincent here. Today, I will be diving into the American Express Hilton Aspire credit card and how I was able to utilize the benefits to the fullest. I am new to YouTube and I am trying to grow my channel. If you find this video helpful, please like and share this video and subscribe if you are interested in more contents like this. Now let's jump right in. The Amex Hilton Aspire credit card is currently the most expensive co-branded Hilton card with Amex with an annual fee of $550. The next one down the line would be the Amex Hilton Surpass which is at $150 annual fee. And finally, the Hilton Honors American Express card is $0 annual fee. Let me briefly explain the main benefits of the Amex Hilton Aspire credit card. The two highlights for this card, in my opinion, are the free night reward and complimentary diamond status, which is Hilton's highest status tier currently. And diamond status is obtainable through stays, but with this card, you can get it automatically. And for the free night reward, you get this certificate about 8 weeks after approval of this credit card and every year upon card renewal. With these benefits, I was able to book Roku Kyoto in Japan for free. Back in November 2023, my fiancé and I were in Japan for 3 weeks. And one of the nights at Kyoto, I decided to use the free night reward at Hilton's LXR property, Roku Kyoto. I decided to use this free night reward on this property because it's an expensive property. And most nights in November were costing almost $1,000 with taxes and fees. And the room that we were able to stay for free actually costed more than $1,200 with the tax and fees as well. And we wanted to maximize our stay by using our resort credit from the Aspire card as well. When we stayed here, it was before the Hilton Aspire card changes. The previous benefit was $250 resort credit that can be used annually at Hilton Resorts. Now the new changes is $400 semi-annual credit. You can use $200 resort credit from January to June and then the other remaining $200 from July to December. I will go into detail later in this video regarding the new benefits. Upon arrival at Roku Kyoto, we were provided benefits for our stay and one of the benefits was 10,000 yen credit which we were able to use at restaurants or spa. This additional benefit was due to my diamond status and it was a very nice surprise as we were not expecting additional benefits due to the status. A few weeks before our stay, we contacted them to book Tenjin's chef's table which is their 10 course meal experience and we wanted to use our $250 resort credit to offset the price and cost for the chef's table. With the bonus of $68 or 10,000 yen, we were able to get even more discounts. For the two of us, chef's table course meal would have costed us $486 back in November 2023. So overall, we got a free night that would have costed us $1,200 plus $486 for the chef's table. And in the end, with all the discounts and the free night, we only spent $168.80 for this amazing night at Roku Kyoto, Japan. So this is one of the big reasons why I think the Amex Hilton Aspire credit card is a keeper card in my opinion. With the free night certificate reward at Roku Kyoto and the resort credit, we were able to easily offset the annual fee for this credit card. We also have a blog, keytravelguide.com that goes into detail in regards to Roku Kyoto, the free night stay and the cost that we spent. So make sure you check it out. I will have a link in the description below as well. And if you're interested in the Tenjin Chef's Table, we have a separate video that goes into more detail as well. I will also have the link in the description below for those videos. Now let me go into more details in regards to the benefits for the Hilton Aspire credit card. Right now on sign up and application approval, you will receive 150,000 Hilton Honors points after spending $6,000 in 6 months. Previously, it had an elevated offer of 175. 5,000 points instead. Hopefully this comes back again soon. With this Aspire card, you'd receive 14x points when purchasing hotel and resort stays in the Hilton portfolio. 7x on flights booked directly with the airlines or through amextravel.com and 7x for car rentals booked directly with select car rental companies. And again, 7x for dining at US restaurants including takeout and delivery. And finally, 3x for each dollar spent on other eligible purchases. As I mentioned, complimentary diamond status and free night are two of the major benefits of this card. 
but there's more. You can earn additional free nights after spending 30,000 in purchases and another free night after spending 60,000 in purchases on this card in a calendar year. The Aspire credit card also provides a variety of credits to offset the annual fee. This style of credit is now known as coupon book and many other card issuers are starting to do the same style as well. Let's go through the credits for the Aspire card. The first one is the $400 Hilton Resort Credit, which is split into semi-annual statement credit. So $200 from January to June and another $200 from July to December. The credit can be applied to your room rate as long as it is not a non-refundable or advanced purchase rate. And it has to be a Hilton Resort property. You can also use this credit for incidentals by charging it to your room with this card on file during your stay. The next credit is the $200 flight credit. This one is a bit more annoying to use as it is $50 statement credit each quarter. The first $50 is from January to March, the next one is from April to June, and then the next one is July to September, and finally the fourth quarter is October to December. You can get $50 statement credit when purchasing directly with an airline or with Amex Travel Portal. And there are many other methods online to use this credit more efficiently as well. You just have to search. The Aspire card also provides a $189 clear membership credit every year. It is a nice credit, but many other top tier cards already provide the same credit as well. There is one other credit, which is the $100 property credit. And you can get this credit when you book a two night minimum stay at participating Waldorf Astoria and Conrad property. You'll have to call in this number and provide the reference code. But usually the room rates are higher than what you see on Hilton.com. So in the end, it's usually not worth it but you never know, they might be different prices sometimes. Aside from credits, this card also provides National Car Rental Emerald Club executive status. This is their middle tier status for National Car Rental. It's a nice free perk to have. And of course, this card also has no foreign transaction fees and it has car rental loss and damage insurance baggage insurance plan, trip delay insurance, trip cancellation and interruption insurance, purchase protection, extended warranty. In conclusion, this credit card is very easy to use. And if you're able to use most of the credits plus the free night certificate reward, then you can easily offset the annual fee, especially when you stay at a resort that is more than $1,000 a night. You can easily cover the annual fee for one or two years or more, depending on the resort. And if you have a player too, they can also get the same Aspire card. That way, you both have two free nights certificate reward. I hope this video was helpful. And if you like this video, please drop a like and subscribe for more content as well. We also have referral links. So if you don't mind using our links, it will help us grow. And don't forget, we also have our blog that we are trying to grow as well. We will slowly put out more articles. Until next time, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye-bye.